What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazyboy and today I'm back with another Rice Sunday and today I'm going to be taking a look at Alberto the... Honestly, I honestly forget what he's called. I think it's Party Animal? I could be wrong. I'm going to have to show a picture of the packaging right here to show what he's actually about. But um, yeah, I'm kind of skipping the rest of Wave 1 because it's just not what I want to do right now. Um, I'm going to be up front right, right now. This guy just does not stand very well. Like I have to put him, his feet in like this weird awkward position. And even then, he's still very likely to fall over at some point during this review. But, um, I mean, he's got, I guess let's just start off with the articulation, because I don't know where to intro this video. He's got, like, this weird little swivel on the head. It doesn't really work all that well. Left to right. Can't look up or down. That's just design flaw of the character. He's very thin-ish. It's a very bad thing. He's got a little scratches here, but that's just how old this figure is. Um, he's very flat. Not as flat as Hypnopotamus, I'll get to that figure eventually, but it still isn't that good. Um, I don't know what the hell happened in there. That might just be a paint defect from here or here, I'm not sure. Um, joints at the shoulders, bends at the... Man, these, these bends suck. Um, the design of the arms doesn't really allow that much for the bends to work, but they kind of work somewhat not really but at least he has the bends I, I prefer this over nothing and instead of having joints on the wrists he has a swivel which that makes sense for this type of hand i i don't i don't know how else they do that while keeping the 846 budget so i'm glad they figured out a way to give him that just give him a swivel that's nice same here except this arm is obviously much different it's all burnt from when he stuck his i think it's guitar or arm into the electric socket in that one episode when he first premiered, that's nice. And he also has um, joints at the... I have no idea. He just straight up has legs that plug into this big ol' cube that he has for a body. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, it's not even a cube. It's more of a rectangle. That's, that's weird. Um, The pins are purple here. I guess they just reuse that. I don't know why they would do that. It, 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 it would make more sense for these purple pins for that color because it's a... I'm stupid. Never mind. For a second, I don't know what the hell happened. I thought they were yellow. I'm stupid. But okay then. If they didn't want to make brand new red pins. Alright, lazies. Um, his legs are red, like the TV show. And he has brown shoes. Uh, no swivel, but there are joints right here that are really bad. They shouldn't have stylized the, the legs. They don't really work that well. Also not to mention that the way his legs are positioned, they don't let him stand that well. Like if I lay it flat like this there's just no way there's no way i don't know what to do see he'll stand like that but he looks awkward um sculpt wise he's he actually has a pretty really really nice sculpt um obviously there's some scratches back here that's my fault but you've even got the, like the seam lines the details that would probably just be like all in black which seem like they would probably have that all black painting in here um they're just molded in which i appreciate the detail but like Man, if this was like fully, fully painted, it'd be absolutely fantastic. I guess we'll start off with the face. Um, the hat is painted, like the whole thing is painted. A lot of the paint's kind of chipping off, but that's just because of how kind of chalky, um, like this shade of white slash yellow paint can be. You need to glop it on to get like a good kind of like actual color to it. So I can see why it's chipping off over time. That's just a byproduct of the design and color. Um, the hair is like that weird blue teal-ish color, like cerulean, you know, like that crayon from Crayola. Uh, it's it's nice, I like it. It's, it's, it's I like, Again, a lot of this guy's colors and paintwork and sculpt work is all very accurate to the TV show. I like this sculpt. It's very great. He's purple for some reason. In the show, he's brown, but I don't know why they decided to make him purple, I guess. Brown was not appealing enough? Maybe that's the point? I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's purple. It's not that big a deal. Under certain lighting, I guess he could look purple. So it's not, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, so yeah, his body is purple and same with his arm is purple. These two pieces are both purple, same with the head. So that's that, along with the hinge joints. The, I guess like lighter brown or like, I don't know what to call it. I guess it would, it would be beige if it was normal. It's a lighter purple, almost pinkish color actually. That's what it is. And on top of it, they have the pink, the, the rosy cheeks on it. That's nice. And underneath, of course, they have the little exposed metal, which is really cool. I like that they painted this nice little chrome piece, this here too. That's really nice. Same with the eye. Actually, the eye is not chrome. It's um, black with a little red dot. 
and then the eye has that normal animated series look. I don't think he has that little white piece in his eye. I could be wrong, but I think it's just a solid black like eye. Like people, like the general art style of the series is, but I could be wrong. Um, it's been a while since I've seen Rise. I'm trying to like forget about it so I can rewatch it eventually someday on the channel. That'd be fun. Um, he does also have his one little tooth here painted. This one back here is not painted. I might try my hand at painting that someday. I probably might not, but it's nice to have that. Again, I like that even though some of these details aren't painted, you can always just paint them yourself. Um, his bow tie is also painted red. I don't, I think it's like, is it red? Or, I don't know, I, I just, this design is really weird. I, I could have sworn his head's not this big. Like, it doesn't take up this much of his body. Like, his head should be more up here, more so than down here. But with what they had and trying to translate into a figure that will fit in the blister card packaging, I guess it's okay. They really should just start making deluxe figures for Rise of Team and T to actually fit a lot of their characters into that scale because of how big a lot of characters in that show are. Um, the buns on his shirt, shirt aren't painted. Um, I don't think they're painted in the show, but I could be wrong about that. Like I said, it's been a little while since, I, since I've seen Rise. Um, and of course, and and also his shoes are painted as well. Not the if you look on the side, you could, if you look on the inside, they're, you can see that the inside of the shoes are red, but obviously they're painted brown. Um, shoulder painted with that very gloppy um, white yellow. I'm not a fan of that. That's just whatever. He's got these really weird, like, little holes. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I hate this detail on certain Rice figures, and I wish it would stop when the toy line was still being made. Because it was just such a big annoyance when it was happening. Um, onto accessories. Let's check out the accessories this guy came with. Because he came with two. Two really good accessories that don't really factor into him so much as a character, so much as to the episode that he premiered in. So here we have the pizza slice from, obviously, Warren Pizza, the first episode he premiered. It's a very ugly pizza slice. I could have sworn this mold showed up in another 2012 figure. I think it was... I could have sworn it might have been from one of the Tales of the Team NT um, figures. I could be wrong, but I feel like this is from that. Again, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, there's this mallet here. This really cool little mallet that um it, that obviously April used in that episode with the, for the Macamole <laughs> Maca um, things that Alberto brought to life. Um, she can hold this, but because of how heavy this piece is, it just does not. She'll fall over if she holds it. Same with her mystic bag, she will fall over if she holds it. Um, these accessories can't fit in his hand, actually. He can hold them really well, like just like that. Pizza can also hold and fit into his hand, if it, if it would just slip on like that, which is nice, great. I like that he can hold his pizza accessories, or just accessories in general, really well. Um, also, I, one thing I didn't cover is his hands. There are two different pieces, like this one's a gripping hand, and this one is... More of a more of an open hand, like this one's more to just like grab stuff. This one's holding stuff, which I, it's nice. I, I like that they made two different molds for the hands. That's nice. I appreciate playing doing there for because like they were already doing two different hands because obviously left and right hands are different. So I, I like I like that they went the extra mileage and gave this guy a different hand. Um, overall, I guess that's kind of my review of just Alberto. He's a pretty good figure. I want to say he's pretty good. It's just that I don't really know what to say about this guy. Because obviously he has flaws. The Rise of Team and Tito line is very flawed. But at the same time, I can't hate this figure. It's pretty good. Like, I... This is a standard Rise of Team and T figure. There's not much wrong with it, really. I mean, yeah, there's a few flaws, but like... I can't hate it. So I think in terms of paint work, I'm going to give him like a... A B plus. Because they tried. They really did try with this. The... the more specifically with the shoulder and the hat, that's just victim of circumstance. I can see why it would happen. That's okay, playmates. I'll let you have this one. Articulation-wise, I'm going to give it like a... A minus. The only thing that's really not articulated is just the knees, but... Again, that's kind of the way the legs are sculpted. I can see why there's no articulation in the knees. Not to mention they're too thick for knee joints. Um, and in terms of sculpt, I think I'm going to give it... Uh, C minus. The sculpt is really nice, but these legs really hinder it for me. Like they are so bad. It's this figure falls over fairly easily when you don't properly position his legs. Like I have to. See what I mean? Like I can see why people talk bad about the rise of human to T to line, but like I'm out here trying to defend it, and oh my god, is it hard? I'm trying. Please. Cooperate with me. I'll give you five dollars. I will give you. There you go. I'll give him five dollars later. Um. <laughs> so overall, I think we're gonna rank this figure out to uh, 
A B plus. That's what I'm gonna get around this figure out too. A B plus. It's mm, B plus A minus. It's really hard to say. Um, it, it's just a pretty alright figure, and for ten bucks, which is how much you can usually find this figure brand new, I'd say pick it up definitely. It's it's great. It's great. It's a great villain to have against your turtles, Rise of Team and Teeth turtles, and he fits in with a lot of the characters for that show. More so specifically, the ones that look more accurate to the TV show, like the Battleship Turtles or Hypnopotamus and stuff like that. But um, with that being said, I'm Mr. Lazy Boy. I hope you guys liked this Rise Sunday. I had a great time making it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.